As we work on these multiplication shortcuts, it's very easy to get them confused as to which one to apply when. We're going to look at that in this video. In this first example, we have 4x minus 7 times 4x plus 7. Notice those factors are identical, with the exception of 1 as a plus, 1 as a minus. This is a sum and a difference. With sum and difference, the middle terms end up subtracting out, so we only need to multiply the first terms together. 4x times 4x is 16x squared, and the last terms together. Negative 7 times 7 is negative 49, and we get our final solution. When we're squaring a binomial, we have to remember that we don't just square the first and last. There's a middle term that cannot be forgotten. We do start by squaring the first term. 4x squared is 16x squared, and then we look at the product twice. 4x times 7 is 28x, and another 28x is 56x. Finally, we square the 7 to get 49, and we have our final solution. Be very careful with signs, however, as we're squaring our binomials. This next example, 4x minus 7 squared, we start by squaring the first term. 4x squared is 16x squared, and then we take the product twice. 4x times negative 7 is negative 28x, and another negative 28x gives us negative 56x. Finally, we square the last term. 7 squared is positive 49, and we have our solution. Notice as we're squaring, the middle term has the same sign as the middle of the binomial. Being able to remember when to use the sum and difference shortcut of multiplying the first terms and the last terms, or the perfect square shortcut of squaring the first, taking the product twice, and squaring the last, being careful of signs, can give us a large advantage as we continue studying algebra to help us save time and solve more involved problems.